Hi guys, Paul here from PA Brew News, and I'm going to be doing another one sent to me by um, Joe Bliski, I think his last name is. So, this is St. Peter's Golden Ale. I only had two by St. Peter's so far, and I thought they were both lovely. They were both dark ales. And uh, there's, there's a chance that I'll be... Uh, a little disappointed with this ale, to say the least, because sometimes their their lighter ales seem kind of hit or miss for various reasons. For various reasons. Okay, there we go. Let's get into it. Cheers. Okay, there's a little bit of a skunky smell. Okay, it's a lot of uh, smell. It's not full on skunk, but it definitely has a really weird smell to it. Definitely has a real weedy herbal note to it. Definitely has got a little bit of that twinge. Getting the slight bits of zest from the citrus. Alright. It almost wants to bring out almost a floral honey quality, but it's it's just not really getting there. Definitely got some earth tones to it, like a fuggle hop, but let's give it a sip and see if we got anything else going on. Cheers. Got a little bit of a bitterness to it. It finishes really clean. None of that weird um, aroma is in the taste. It has a nice fuggly earth tone to it. If you really pull hard, you can get a little bit of that earth, that um, off tone, but it's really not that bad. Um, not a lot going on with this. It's just a little bit of a very bland and slightly bitter ale. Yeah, that's basically you're getting a little bit of a, a earth tone, very very faint pit of the little bit of a zest, a nice amount of bitterness. I like the bitter end to this, and it's clean end too. But I really would love a bigger malt base or a malt base at all. Because there's really no sweetness to this at all. And I really expected a little bit of a sweet character to it. Yeah, a little bit of a peppery note to it with the hops. But basically, it's just a clean, dry, easy to slam, sessionable ale. And, uh, well, let me look at this and let me see if the camera died or whatever, because I know the power is getting pretty low on it. And we're still clicking away. Still clicking away. So let me see if I can get you some info. This uh, St. Peter's Brewery is from Suffolk, England, and traditional malts and English hops create a distinctive golden ale with delicious, fresh, grainy aftertaste. Yeah, I, I agree. Brew with skill and patience in our Britain's finest small breweries. Historical note, St. <coughs> Peter's Brewery is located in Medieval Hall in the remote, beautiful village of the corner of Suffolk. There are beers begin live deep below in the brewery with 700 uh, with, with water dwelling drawn from pure source it has been over for over 700 years essentially for the full flavor of our pure character character of all st peter's beers our beautiful flask shaped oval bottles are faithfully copied one from the one produced in 1770 by T thomas gerard of Kipstown, just across the delaware river from philadelphia our the our original is known is now kept at uh... st peter's hall 
and is a rare example of our of an oval 18th century beer bottle, you know, the flask shape. And uh, they have an ecclesiastical brewery, which is basically they rebuilt the brewery or built part of it with junk that was left over from ruins. So they junk no one wanted ecclesiastical. But uh, and then St. Peter's Hall is circa 1280 AD, so that's pretty damn old. So there we go. Um, ABV really unknown. I'm assuming with the real, real light malt base. It's just a real nice four, four, maybe four point two. There's a faint hit of sweetness, almost a faint hit of honey sweetness. It's not bad. I mean, it's not bad. It's just not good either. <laughs> it's one of those kind of deals. Finishes clean, dry, little peppery note, a little bit of zest. Definitely got some earth tones. Faint hint of a very, very slight faint hint of a honey, um, but for sessionability, I mean, this is pretty high. The aroma, yeah, has a little bit of a. All that nastiness is kind of dissipated. Now you're getting more of those, a little bit of a sweet fruit. You're pulling a little bit more of that kind of honey tone, a little bit of a sweet fruit. I'm going more of like a fleshy apple, fleshy orange kind of a sweet fruit. It's not bad though. I do like this. Anyway, we're going to give this a little sip and a rating. St. Peter's Golden Nail. Probably going to give this one probably want to give this one just a little bit less than I give some of my other ones. I'm going to give this one a 6. 6 out of 10. It's not really good and it's not really bad. So, um, but that's it. This has been Paul from PA Brew News. Cheers.